Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a few of my carry-on essentials. Uh, these are some of the things that I definitely will never travel without. I love to travel. I've traveled quite a lot. And these are definitely all items I refuse to get on a plane without, both domestic and international. So I definitely want to share with you what is essential to me when I am traveling. So let's get into it. So some of this stuff works for both domestic and international. Some of it only works for one or the other. Um, I'm just going to skip through the fact that when you're traveling, you definitely need to have passport ID, your travel documents and your tickets and those sorts of travel essentials in your carry on. Everyone has those with them, I'm sure. Otherwise, they wouldn't be getting on the plane. So we'll skip past those and we'll jump into what is essential for when I travel. And the first thing is definitely an empty water bottle. You can take water bottles with water on them in domestic flight sale in Australia, but internationally you can't take water with you past the international security. So if you take an empty bottle, they will let you through and then you can fill it up at the like drinking fountains or something like that once you're in like the gates and stuff like that. So... I definitely get dehydrated a lot when I travel, so having water with me at all times is a necessity. So having that empty water bottle that I can refill really makes my life a hell of a lot easier and I don't think I could travel without having water by my side, so definitely have to bring a water bottle with me. The next thing is always a pair of sunnies. I don't travel without sunglasses like you don't know what you're gonna be feeling like when you get off the plane. You know, it could be sunny. You just don't want people looking at your horrible face because you've been on the plane all day. Like, definitely need to have some sunnies when I get off the plane. Next is to definitely have, this is also international, is one of those um, converters for your plugs. So you can charge your phone or your tablet or your computer use your electronic devices or your hair straightener whatever in any country you are but even more so the airport the airport can be so boring if you don't have money for the shops or the shops are shit so you're gonna want to entertain yourself so you're gonna be using your phone or your tablet or your electronic device like the whole time you're waiting for the next flight so you're gonna need to charge it so if you don't have plug for that country in the airport that you're currently in, you're basically screwed. Henceforth, the next thing I would be packing is the charger cord. So there's that. And also having headphones. Um, if you don't want people approaching you, you just want to be on your own, you know, having headphones in, people kind of see that. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to talk to that person. I'm not going to approach that person. They got headphones in, they're focused on something else. Um, also, you know, have it on the plane if you want to watch or listen to your own stuff. But yeah, headphones, definitely need to have those with me. Next is definitely a lifesaver for those international flights, and that is to have a pen with you at all times. Because it's so awkward having to ask either the person next to you or to get the stewardess out because you don't have a pen to fill out all the forms that you have to hand over when you get off the plane into the next country. So pack a pen it is so useful and people end up asking you for it as well so take a pen you will become a lifesaver take a pen <laughs> it's so small and simple just take it next is definitely like a little kind of like mini first aid kit i definitely pack this thing with band-aids and stuff like that because the amount of times you hurt yourself or someone else hurt themselves you get a blister on your foot from all the walking god knows what I can't travel without having a stash of band-aids, so yeah, it, you don't. It, you better to be safe than sorry, basically. So pack a band-aid or, or ten, you know, just pack band-aids. Next is something I actually discovered while traveling when I was in the U.S., and that is this Tide to Go pen. So Tide is an American brand, and basically it's a pen that you release detergent on your clothes in like spot areas, say. You, we're drinking a coffee and a little bit spilled. Quickly get this before the stain sets and it'll basically remove the stain as best as it can. It really is a lifesaver. So can't really go anywhere without this. Not just traveling, but here 
at home in Australia as well, so. Next is something that I always pack but never actually use, but maybe you guys would actually use it, is a little sunscreen, especially for the face. I tend to just not bother with sunscreen, just get sunburnt and have to be extremely uncomfortable in red while I'm away, but take it anyway. You never know, you might use it. I, I don't seem to, but it's definitely a good idea to have it. And I wish I did use it more, but I guess packing it is with good intentions. So next is lip balm. Again, planes can be very dehydrating not just on the body, but your skin and your lips as well. So packing lip balm and hand cream and moisturizer. You, you don't want to look like a crusty mess coming off of the plane. So hydrate your skin as well as your body. Next is to pack little like travel size perfumes that you get as like samples and stuff because you don't want to carry a massive bottle of perfume around like you could break very easily and it could be expensive stuff like that um but having the samples with you means that you can get off the plane smelling fresh you don't have to have bo because you've been sitting in the plane for like 14 hours but you can just spritz this on and you can have at least a little bit more you know, decency getting off the plane you don't have to stink so perfume samples only thing I use them for is for travel like who wants to use a perfume sample at home you got your big perfume at home but these are great for when you're on the go and you don't want to have to carry around a massive glass bottle that could break next you don't know when you're not gonna have a sink to wash your hands in especially in like not just not airports per se but like like I was traveling in Europe via bus and when we went to the bus stop to fill up with petrol and to use the restroom, the sinks were out of order. So guess who everyone came running to when I pulled out the hand sanitizer? This guy. So yeah, hand sanitizer is a must if you don't, if you just want to keep clean and keep away from all the bacteria because when you're in like airports and petrol stations and those sorts of areas where people so many people constantly coming and going there are so many bacteria and germs that are likely to be there because of the amount of people that are always going to be coming in and out of them so try and stay healthy try and stay clean bring hand sanitizer and last but not certainly least is kind of linked to that one and this would be face wipes these can come in so much handy, not only to refresh your face and your hands coming off the plane, but say you wanted to sit down and the seat was gross and dirty in the airport, you can just quickly give it a wipe, or the table was dirty and hadn't been cleaned, give that a wipe, give you know the table in your airplane seat a wipe, like stuff like that. It's so handy to have these. Like you don't know when you're not going to be able to have somewhere clean to be and you just want to clean the space around you or clean yourself face wipes these ones are only two bucks so you get 25 in the pack they are so worth taking I, I don't go anywhere don't travel anywhere without them so I definitely have to take those with me and of course I always have to take things like my phone and my tablet stuff like that I do need to keep myself entertained but yeah, those are definitely my carry-on essentials. There are definitely other things I pack depending on where I'm going or how long I'm going away for, um, such as feminine products and stuff like that. But yeah, those are definitely all of my carry-on essentials. I don't travel without these things. And I hope this is useful to someone who's about to travel and they don't know what they need to pack with them. So yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.